Hi everyone, you know it's Friday night, and you know what I think it's time for? I think it's time for a wine diary. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in, spend a few minutes of your day with me. And it's Friday night. It's going to be time for a wine diary because I've made a nice little dinner for myself. Wasn't sure what kind of wine to get, so I, I got two bottles here to check it out and try it with. But I'm so glad you're here. You guys are awesome and it means so much to me that you guys take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope you would hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always, always welcome. So anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I got a couple of flight packs, as they're calling it, from, I'm just going to say, I don't know how to pronounce this right, so I'm just going to say drink easy. So I got two of these little six packs, and then I got a third one, and it was supposed to be like this seven day blowout sale. They had 200, and it was good for seven days or until the 200 were gone. Anyway, I went on their site. This is still available. So you can get two of these little six, they call them flights, six flights of wine. So these six little bottles are in there. And it is $50. Normally it would be $80 for both of them. So I'll leave their website below. If this is something you're interested in, if you like trying just different types of wines, it's really, really fun. It's not a subscription at all. It's like a one-time purchase. I did get a Christmas um, wine advent calendar from them a few years ago. And it was, well, I wasn't into drinking wines other than Moscato. So yeah, I didn't enjoy it. But you know what? I'm enjoying it now. So anyway, tonight for my dinner, I bought this uh, honey chipotle salmon, right, from Sea Cuisine. It was, uh, you know, one of those vacuum sealed bags, so you just heat it up. 15 grams of protein, and I just made it, and I served it on one of my salads. So I got my salad dressing on top of it, and it's marinade that I have here that I put on top is that one of that the pineapple teriyaki that I had a couple of weeks ago so this dried pineapple in here there's these little chow mein noodles in here there's some blanched almonds and then a pineapple kind of balsamic dressing on it so I am looking forward to having this in a little bit and I know sometimes with salmon I know with fish, a lot of times people will go for like the lighter white wines, like if you're having like a scrot or tilapia or something like that. But they say the salmon's, uh, it's got more protein and whatever, and it's um, meatier. So they say a lot of times the red wines are better. And I feel like with a chipotle, if it's hot, then maybe I really want a sweet wine. Yeah, this is all new to me. I don't know. So anyway, I picked out a Chardonnay because I've had one recently that I didn't even know that I liked from Winehaven and it was like buttery smooth and soft so I thought I would give this one a try from that drink easy club it's 12th century Chardonnay from France and then the other one that I picked to try to figure out which one I like better red or white and this one is a Pinot Noir and this one is from if it from San something San Benito County, so I'm believing this one is a California wine. So let's see if I can open these just in case. I brought a handy dandy elastic. So yeah, I hope everyone had a great week. I am starved. I am looking forward to having some, and if I can't open the wine, I'm going to be in trouble. So that doesn't want to open. Okay, I got it. Got one. So there, we'll let the Pinot Noir open air for a little bit, aerate, and take my handy dandy elastic, elastic off. I've got a bigger one, but it just doesn't seem to always work that well. And we'll do this one for the Chardonnay. 
Yeah, that one was a little bit easier. I should have pre-opened those. Hmm, smells good. Alrighty, so let's pour a little bit of the shagged egg in there. I'm not sure which one I'm going to want with my fish, my salmon. But I'm looking forward to having that chipotle crusted salmon, honey chipotle salmon. Alrighty, so this is the Pinot Noir. It is not a deep red, it's um, very opaque. Um, not coating the glass a lot, but it, it does coat it a little bit. So I got a light kind of pinkish red, I'll say. Alrighty. I probably should do the Chardonnay first, but look, you know, I'm backwards. What can I say? Cheers, everyone. So it's, it does, I smell cherries, maybe vanilla. All right. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. Not as dry as I would think it was, but you do have some tannins in there. So you got that oakiness from the tannins. Um, it's tart. Um, maybe pomegranate, maybe a kind of like a cocoa or kind of chocolatey taste. Yeah, so oak, cherry, raspberry, vanilla to kind of soften it. Pomegranate because it's kind of tart, and I think that's a pomegranate. Maybe a little bit of cocoa or like a little chocolate flavor. Maybe that's what makes it a little bit smoother. Not bad. Um, this one is 14.1% alcohol. Alrighty, so the Chardonnay. Swirl it around a little bit. It's just a light kind of golden color. It smells kind of, I know it's going to be dry, but I, I smell maybe pear, apple, maybe pineapple. Alrighty, cheers everyone. It's dry. Not as dry as the Pinot Noir. Well, maybe it is. It, it is dry. You can taste that oakiness, but it's buttery. It's smooth like butter. Um, I taste pineapple, pear, some apple, not cinnamon, maybe nutmeg. It's tart. That's weird that both taste tart to me tonight. But... Anyway, I'm not sure which one I'm going to have, but I am looking forward to tasting this salmon with the chipotle. I hope it's not too hot. Let me see if I can take a bite without being too rude. And then maybe I'll have a taste and see which one I want to have with it. Mmm. 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 -hmm. That is good. I think I like it with the Chardonnay better. So anyway, thanks you guys for dropping in, spending a few minutes of your day with me and sharing wine diaries with me. It's just a really fun adventure. You know, when I first started this, I wanted to learn more of the technical terms and I wanted to be like a professional wine taster or a sommelier or however you say that and just, but, it, but that's not really what I want. I just want to figure out what I like, what I don't like, I just have some fun sampling different wines. That's really what I want and, and spending time with you guys. Yeah, that's the best. So anyway, thanks again for stopping in. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys go out, have a great week, uh, weekend, because I probably will post this probably next Friday. And um, yeah, so take care, stay safe, be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun. Love you guys. Bye-bye.